Hello from Ritzel Health Education. I am Deborah Ritzel and I'd like to talk today about the piriformis syndrome. Patients are referred to physical therapy with diagnosis of piriformis syndrome and these patients often present with pain in the buttock when sitting and also pain down the leg. Patients are also referred to physical therapy with diagnosis of sciatica and these patients, a portion of them probably have piriformis syndrome versus sciatica meaning that the, the pain is coming from a spinal cord level uh, dysfunction. So careful evaluation of the sacroiliac area in relation to uh, proper alignment of the anomalies and the sacrum is paramount to see whether that is contributing to the quote-unquote piriformis syndrome. Stretching of the piriformis muscle is often included when we have a diagnosis of piriformis syndrome and the piriformis muscle is often irritable and when we stretch it, it can cause the pain even if we're doing it gently. So care has to be taken when we are incorporating stretching to the piriformis muscle. Often, uh, actually some neural gliding would be more beneficial than stretching. The piriformis muscle, when we do stretch it, we need to remember that it has two different functions depending on where the hip is located. When the hip is flexed past 90 degrees, the muscle adducts and internally rotates, and it does the opposite when it's greater than 90 degrees. So then we have to reverse our procedures. So our stretching of the piriformis when it's above 90 degrees needs to be for example, the, pure, the uh, figure of four stretch because that will stretch the muscle in the right components and then the um, below 90 would be internal rotation and adduction stretch. For more tips, look for the Simplifying Sacroiliac Dysfunction course that's coming to your area. Thank you very much.